Let's compare the XRD pattern for crystalline material and for liquid sample. Liquid sample looks like amorphous sample. Look like amorphous sample or similarly like polymer. So the XRD pattern for amorphous liquid and polymer look like same. There will be a diffuse peak, no sharp peak. We know that crystalline material gives sharp peaks. When you see sharp peak in your XRD pattern, so you clearly confirm that the material is crystalline material. Here, these peaks comes due to Broch's law. When Broch's law satisfied, this is basically Broch's law, so we get peaks. For example, the X-ray reflected from crystalline plane, and when the reflected rays are in phase here, so we get here peak, XRD peaks here. This is XRD peak. This is how we get short peaks. Now, these areas where the intensity is zero here, when there is no peaks, this means that the Broch's law does not satisfy here, right? So now this is confirmed that crystalline material use short peaks in XRD pattern. Now look here, the liquid sample gives broad one peak, one or maximum two peaks. And interestingly, uh, this peak is basically located at lower angle. So the question maybe uh, somebody asked that why the peak is not uh, happening here? Why the peak is not happening here? Let me confirm here. We know that in solid crystalline material, the atoms are very, very close, right? And we know that sometimes we have a larger interplanar spacing, sometimes we have smaller interplanar spacing. And we know that there is a relationship between uh, Broch's law and Broch's law, the, the relationship between the interplanar spacing in the two theta or the theta. Here basically it means the peak positions. So this means that these reflections are basically from greater interplanar spacing. Because of Broch's law says. So this means that in the material, in some areas, we have greater interplanar spacing, while there are also smaller interplanar spacing here on the uh, greater angle sides. So this means that in this XRD graph, the, the latter spacing is uh, decreasing in this side and increasing in this side. Now, if you look to the liquid sample, so this means that they have only greater interplanar spacings because the atoms are located far, far away. For example, like the atoms are located far, far away uh, as compared to solid. So this is why we do not have here uh, the peaks because in liquids, we do not have the smaller interplanar uh, spacing. This is how we get peaks like this for polymer, for uh, amorphous or for liquid sample.